Hey everybody, we are back in the shop and I have had literally numbering in the thousands of people requesting why do I use 12 volt versus 24 volt, 48 volt, and all that. I'm going to show you some straight up specs. I'm going to show you some straight up details and an example. And Kira and Daniel went through all of my posts everywhere on all of the people posting on my videos and they were saying like man they're people are really wanting to know why you went 12 volt and then you got people in there that sell uh materials such as inverters and solar panels and they're like oh you gotta go 24 well 48 uh no 96 no uh, 500 and i'm like okay my idea of living off grid is having all of this stuff available now that list that them two made is in these block pictures that you saw shortly as the video started, and then right here. Yeah, because we get some of our ideas from the comments. Okay, and what they do is, is what now? We get some of our ideas from the comments. So, like, some of their things that they pick up on is when you guys make a statement um, about a certain type of thing, and they'll come to me and they'll go, hey, this, this guy don't know how to do this, and then I'll go make sure I comment to you because I work a lot, and I don't always have the opportunity. Now, and this is automotive stuff, automotive grade, and it's 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. It's all of it. All of it. Okay? Now, if you look under the video, I'll put links to everything I can that might help some of you guys out. And I'm going to explain to you a 1,200 watt uh, emergency, world going to hell, everybody should have a 1,200 watt or larger solar setup on their house. Everybody. It's not that expensive. You're, you're literally talking about $1,000 worth of panels, $1,000 worth of controllers and inverters, and a uh, now, 2500 bucks, you can get a generator for that, but can you always buy gas? Not necessarily, right? Yeah. So, um, all of these things down here are 12 volt. That nice light, this floodlight, these strip lights, lights for your RVs, for under your kitchen cabinets, you name it. Everything, 12 volts. Here, right there. What is that one right there? 12 volt, right off the battery. Very light, very bright. That is equivalent to a 70 watt bulb. So, everything you have, temperature sensors, meters, you name it, it's all available in 12 volt. Now, um, one of the things that you got to worry about, and we're going to go here really soon, and I'm going to explain the wire gauging. People always say it's the wire. It's the wire, man. If you can't get the wire, um, look, let me explain something. See that big battery bank? Let's get over there. You see how I wired this? Now that is independent, there's two batteries, there's negative, there's a positive, and each one of them has their own lugs and a big bus bar, okay? Now, all of that is 340 amps times 7, and we still have the eight batteries out back because they're, they're old hub style batteries. They're not dead. They're not going to die in a long time. Why don't I go lithium? Well, I've got a method for that too. I've got something called a lithium hybrid. And the kids have actually responded to a few people that are inquiring on that. Now, this has been proven to be a badass inverter. This one is seven years old. This one's six years old. This one, I think, is running on seven or eight years old. And you might even go back and see a video from way back in 2012 or 13 on my channel showing that. And this has been running my Wi-Fi for that whole time until we just, we just literally just replaced it with one of these. Both of them pure sine wave. So that one is and that one is. 12 volt, didn't die. Um, one of the most important things that we're dealing with is some of you guys' questions. So, and uh, I few of the collectors out there that was brand new in the box man look at that isn't that cool never been used yeah it's crazy but um daniel what was your question okay so one of the most popular questions that has been asked to us on the channel is why do we choose 12 volt over 24 or say 48 volt 
Exactly. It's everywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. Truck stops, used junkyards, Walmart, Target. It, it doesn't matter. AutoZone. It's everywhere. You can find these parts everywhere. But once you go to 24 volt, it changes and it changes fast. Now, over here with the wire, yes, I do have to use slightly heavier wire. That wire, with what you've seen in that battery bank, cost me only 36 more dollars than if I would have been 24 volt. And it only cost me $49 more than if I would have went 48 volt. And you're like, well, hell, that's nothing. It's, it is nothing. But if I would have went 24 volt, then to run everything you see here, I would have had to keep buying these and buying these at $35 a piece, one after another. You see what that is? That is a DC to DC converter. It's only good for 30 amps. So how many of these things can you run on 30 amps? One, two, three, four, you know? And then what about your lights? And what about your security system? These all run on 12 volts, guys. 12 volts. So this DVR and all the cameras, eight cameras that came with it, 12 volts. That's what it runs on. Cooling fans, 12 volts. Motion sensors, I don't know where it's at. It's 12 volts. It has a little 12 volt 123 battery in it, but you can plug into it too. So, what do we have here? We have this inverter, $63. This inverter, $131. If this was a 24 volt inverter, one, you probably couldn't find it cheap like this one. It'd still be 250 bucks. This one here, they don't make it in that. They don't make it in 2448. But if you wanted the equivalent of it, it's 500 bucks. This one here, 300. So what are you working with here? How, how, did, how did everybody say about how much easier or, or cheaper? It's so much cheaper. The wire. It's about the wire. No, man. It's about everything. Everything. So Daniel's question, uh, what, what was it again? The 12 volt, right? Yeah, 12 volt over 48. Why do we choose it? All right. I want, to look, I want you to look over here. 12 volt, 96% of all Amazon or eBay products, plus Walmart, Target, Costco, truck stops, auto parts, etc., etc. 96% of their DC inventory is 12 volt. 12 volt. Just because they have wheelchairs and um, certain types of radios and electric bikes, 4%. That's it. Go check it out yourself. It's 24, 48 or more. 4% of all of Amazon, eBay, and then the only thing you got left is dealers. Yeah, yeah, my 48 volt inverter died. What do I do? Shut down my freezer, throw my food out on the ground, send it to the dealer, wait six weeks. Or do you run up there to Target or Walmart and just grab another inverter? They're on the shelf, 12 volt. So if you look at this right here, this is specs according to According to the uh, um, uh, five different sites that I pulled this up on, 12-volt items worldwide. Now, this is not even related to, like, the little bitty items. This is what they consider consumer um, hard goods. One trillion, 908 billion. You can find this crap everywhere. 24-volt items worldwide. Mainly because of overseas, they do use some 24-volt. There's one Billion, three hundred and thirty million six hundred thousand. That that's it. Forty-eight volt items worldwide in, in use in use. Doesn't sound very impressive. And most of this is the military. Fifty-eight million. Why did I go twelve volt? Why did I buy hundred watt panels instead of a three hundred watt panel? I'll show you here pretty soon. Twelve volt lead acid. My last set. Nine years almost. And they still were good when I got rid of them. Okay? Over here, we're going to get into that here pretty quick. All right, Kira Marie, what is your first question there? They say the 12 volt is wasteful to use. Why? No, that's exactly the opposite. And I'm going to show you guys why. This is going to be a long video. Stick around, or you can click off and go watch cartoons. I don't care. The people who want to know this is going to stay. All right, 12 volt. 100 amp hour, I'm just going to use 100 amp hour as existence, or as an example. All right, so you have 100 amp hour, takes two 6-volt batteries, 100 amp hour each to equal 100 amp hour 12, but it also takes four 100 amp hour 24. 
It's the way the math works. Volts go up, the amps will stay the same in a battery. All right, same way over here, 4,800 amp hour. That's why you can use lighter wire, not so light, much heavier. Okay, so now I've got this. And so if I'm going to buy eight batteries, then I'll have eight batteries over here. And then they'll all equal the same. Eight batteries here, eight batteries here. Eight batteries so that my system is now, what is that, 400 amp hour. This would be 200 amp hour and this would be 100 amp hour. But they all equal the same as far as energy. Okay, but what they don't equal is the safety. So, no, no, it's not because 24 volt might just be hotter and burn you or 48 volt touch it might be. It's not. 12 volt, they're just as dangerous, so don't be stupid. However, if my 12 volt system loses that battery, I still got 300 amps and I still got my power. If my 24 volt, 24 volt system loses that battery, I'm cut completely in half. I only have half my power. If my 48 volt system loses that battery, it just took the biggest crap you ever saw. It's no good. And you're like, well, buy lithium. You don't have that problem. Don't worry. China will always be around to supply us with every lithium battery we ever need and all the controllers we ever need. <laughs> Except for right now, if you ain't looked at my recent videos and local news or national news, they're actually not been shipping, shipping these. And they're not shipping all those lithium batteries you think you're going to buy. So, in my case, you see I got seven banks of two. One battery dies. All that is still power. But if this was a 48-volt system and I had, say, eight batteries and one battery died, which it does happen... The whole damn thing's no good. And if I go and put a brand new battery, it becomes a parasitic action on the older batteries, and it ends up being no different than the older batteries real quick, a couple months. Because they depend on it. They draw it down. So you have your options right here. Is 12 volt a waste? I don't know. I saved $8,000 compared to a friend of mine who installed nearly identical system in 48. You make a decision. Okay? And think about how many 48-volt things that I might need to have to run so much crap. That's $120 worth of converters. All right, now, Daniel, next. Okay, so people who are getting new into the solar or wind turbine industry always ask this question. What do they do if a battery fails? What would happen? Okay, well, we got close to covering that. If a battery fails and you have a 12-volt system... You only lose a percentage. If it's a 24-volt system, you lose half. If it's a 48-volt system, and that's not that's normal, an 8-battery system for 48 volt, you lose all of it. Now, you'd have to have 16 batteries to lose half. But what if you had 16 batteries over here? You'd only lose 1 16th of it, or 1 8th, sorry, 1 8th. So you'd lose half, you'd lose 1 8th. you lose a quarter. It's not rocket science. Okay, so there you go again. And Kira. What is a hybrid lithium lead acid like what you install for people? Oh, oh, okay, gotcha. All right. This is what you set out, Daniel? Okay. Now, I do setups for people where we go to Hurricane Wind Power, and I'll put a link. Look below the video. There's a company in Virginia, right? Yeah. In Virginia, okay. In Virginia, and he sells the, about the cheapest 100 amp battery that you can buy. So, this is why I'm telling you. Because if you buy the $900 100 amp battery, 950 that they sell out of, I think, Nevada or, or Texas or something, you're not going to get what you think. But he sells a 100 amp that's actually 113. And he's done a few videos. It proves it. Now, that battery, you rig them up for 24 volts. And you actually take, if you have a 12 volt system, you actually take those batteries and you set them up. Now, you got 200 amps. At 12 volts, or if you want to go 24, you got 100 amps. And you would feed that into a controller with a daylight dark switch on it. So it's a night to, night to uh, what do they call it, dust to dawn switch. And this is one of them right here. And of course, this runs on 12 volts, sorry. So, you know, maybe you got to get a, here, if you're going to go 24 volt, well, you're going to need them two together to, you know. So, of course, that saves you all that money because of the 
because of the saving twenty dollars in wire. Um, so you have to have that. But at night, just like it kicks on the lights in my shop, it will turn on the power to this. This will think it's daylight. It'll show a sunshine thing right there, and it'll start sending that power. So this will accept 100 volts coming in. So you can put 40 volts, 30 volts into this. It's going to hurt it, and it's going to shoot it into your battery bank all night long. And those lithium batteries only having to spend like six, $700 instead of 5000 you would be able to actually keep your lead acid batteries, these, at nearly 80 to 90% all night long. And what does that do to these batteries? That takes a 7 to 10 year battery and puts it past the 10 to 12 mark. And you never have to worry about a low voltage condition. Because your storage in that and then sending it a couple of hundred amps through the night. Remember, it's only going to take what it needs. It's going to basically still have power in that battery by morning, but your system will never degrade. And that literally makes your batteries, like the reason we use wind turbines, literally makes your batteries almost 30% more lifespan. So that investment becomes very well uh, handled by less lithium instead of making it all lithium. Okay, and, and you can go with just four deep cycle batteries and two of those and do that hybrid system if you're on a big RV or a bus or something. Okay, now... And, and since I do that for other people, I cannot video their property. I can't video their stuff. All right. Kara, what's yours? Is there better options for people like us? Is there better options? Okay. A lot of people want to know about the options. Um, is that the, the small system thing? Yeah. Okay. All right. They want to know. I have a lot of people do this, and it, and it kind of makes me crazy sometimes. And I try to be straight with them. Okay. Okay. Uh, A refrigerator let's just go back in here all right six batteries at 12 volts that's goofy at 12 volts um, six batteries at 12 volts the 125 amp hour GC twos whoop GC twos and I'll put the link below the video go down there and look this is for batteries plus if you buy them online and pick them up in the store you'll get 10% off that saves you a lot when you consider buying that all right so six batteries Two sets of six of these. Two sets of six of these. Okay? So you'll have 12 solar panels, six batteries. And then I'll, I'll highly recommend, and uh, we ain't put that one up yet. Um, I'll highly recommend this type of solar controllers. So I want you to look. These are these are running right now. The sun isn't quite up. We come out here at, at uh, 530 in the morning, so the sun ain't up yet. But I'll put the links below for those. So you have two of these. 12 of those solar panels, six batteries. And for your electronics, you'll get something simple like a what like six or a, six hundred to a thousand watt true sign. And then for bulk items, uh, two or three thousand watt inverter. And if you guys want, um, you're like, okay, you've been doing this how many years? Eleven years. You, what works great? I'm not a dealer. I've installed a lot of things. I've pulled things out of people's property that's been junk. I put things in. And we've had, like, warranty issues. I don't ever sell it or don't ever deal with it or don't install it. And then what I find people can still use like this after seven, eight years, that's what I recommend. And so I'll put down a list of what you would want. So you just ask. Put it down on your post, and we'll see what we got. Um, that it? No, I, I have one more question. Okay. That was requested to us by a viewer. All right. Does all lithium come from China? Does all lithium come from China? Um, uh, 83%. So if you are going to say that that's too expensive, it's, it's not cheap. But if that's too expensive or the six battery thing is too expensive and you're going to go down and you're going to buy you some $900 um, lithium ion, uh, these, are, these, these are lipo pores. And people who say they don't fail, I've got lots of these that are two years old, they're dead. Okay? So don't, don't say they don't fail. Um, so if you're going to buy those and you're going to depend on your sourcing coming out of China with the current world events going on, um, made in America, made in Mexico, made in Canada, made in America, made in Canada. Okay? North America. All of it. All of that. So what do you have when... Uh, when you're thinking that uh, my big lithium battery bank is Superman's battery bank, I can tell you right now, you have a Chinese-made product. These are Chinese, too. 
but you have Chinese made product that is not something you can trust having available. Not the way that things are going right now. All right. And, and if you don't believe any of that, then that, then buy them. Okay. I'm fine with that. All right. Now, um, what happens? My 12 volt system, you see that panel? All right. Let me explain something here. Don't get in shock. My 12 volt system. All right. I don't go 300 watt panels. I go 100 watt, 100 watt, 100 watt, 100 watt. Sometimes I'll go 125. And everybody says, what was that? A lot of them wanted to know um, why we don't use big 300 watt panels or 350 watt panels. Look, look at that. Go back to where I put those two big blocks of questions and answers up. Um, and I'm going to tell you exactly. I don't use 300 watt panels. I've gone to people's houses where something as simple as a pine cone has changed their life. Okay. And a small limb. And I don't use those because if a problem happens and I've got 12 of these on the roof and one of them dies, I still got 11 of them. If a 300 watt panel loses, that's just, that's like losing three of these. One panel. All right. So I can make that up right here. Let me show you something. Here. This is, you see that one right up there. All right. Hold that. Hold that, Kira. Let me get, uh, let me get something here. All right. Those right there are 25 caliber. This thing here is a Benjamin Trail uh, NP, 950 feet yeah. per second. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give a shell in it. My hands are big, guys, so this is not immediate. Okay. Daniel, get the hell out of the way. Move back. All right, so we're going to take a chance at something. Don't freak out, guys. Okay. All right. Well, that busted the shit out of it, didn't it? <sighs> All right, so one panel gets the shit thrown out of it. Okay? Ooh, went in the wall. <laughs> wonder if I can dig that out. All right, so one panel gets the shit thrown out of it. Punk kid. Or punk, uh, <laughs> punk off gritter. What do I got left? If that was a 350 watt panel, I lost 350 watts. But if it's a 100 watt 12 volt panel, even if I'm putting them, putting them in series or parallel, I only lost one. One. That's $80 to lose. And even though the per watt price might be 5% more, what's the risk when they're literally not shipping these right now? When the, you're better, you're more likely to get one from Vietnam than from the main cell manufacturer in the world, which is China. So, when you think about that, yep, Daniel, it blew a big freaking hole in it. Panic. You know what? It was donated. Sorry, guys. I know the company's going to be pissed about this. <laughs> but, if I lose one, I'm not hurt. All right, guys? Y'all see that? One panel. 25 caliber. Smooth. Freaking through that. See my fingers? That's all it takes. A hailstone. I don't know. That big could have done the same thing. Right, Emma? Woke Emma's ass up, didn't it? All right. So, if you consider, think of that as being a 12-volt panel. Think of these big monster panels that really lift up nice in the wind. <laughs> 330 watt panel, 360 watt panels, 400 watt panels. Buy them now. They're giving you to a discount because the glass is so big that they're so easy to fracture that if you don't have them professionally installed, you have a high risk of loss. But this is different. The world's not doing well. And I say buy lots of 100 watt panels. Look at the video link right there. I'll put one up. If you're still with me after I shot a panel. What do y'all think? I, I think that was actually very crazy. Crazy? Okay. So, y'all saw crazy. But, boom, there you go, guys. Uh, best definitions I can give you. I'm telling you, go 12 volt because it is a survivalist method. And everything out there, everything out there is available for it. It's all available. Look at this. There's your math. Every bit of this stuff, man, has got to go to one of these guys, dealers. 
And it's all 20% more expensive, no matter what you pay for your damn wire. So think about that. Think about all that. One loss, boom, gone. One loss, half gone. One loss, a quarter gone. Your choice. You're still good. Y'all be good, man. What y'all think, kids? Well, we just lost the panel. Yeah, hey, exactly. it was free. <laughs> they sent me four. Y'all be good. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>